Here's something I've never showed y'all for sure before. I uh, made a video where I thought I was seeing it before, but now I know. These are small high beetle eggs. And uh, y'all can tell by the size of my fingernail, their fingertips, how tiny these things are. Um, they're about, they're, they're smaller than, um, than a uh, actual bee egg, a honeybee egg. And you can see how they're laid in these cluster patterns. There's a whole bunch of them here in the top. And then there's this whole cluster uh, kind of down to the right. And you can see these tiny white larvae crawling around. Those are small high beetle larvae. Where I actually found this is, this was actually a queen cell. So I made that video uh, a while back about how I was caging queen cells just by cutting out a chunk of the comb and uh, shoving it into um, the hair roller cage. So apparently when I did that, the beetles were still able to get in there. And so a small high beetle went in and laid this whole thing up full of eggs. Um to where uh, you know the bees couldn't get to it and the bees couldn't get it out. Clearly if this big pile of eggs were deposited in the hive somewhere, the honey, the uh, worker bees, the nurse bees, and house bees would have cleaned it out. Um, but because the bees couldn't get to it, this beetle thought she had a mate and laid them all up nice and tight in there. So if I leave this in the box for a couple more days, you can already see a couple of little maggots hatched out that are crawling around. There's a few. Um, this whole thing would have been just crawling with them. Um, there's more of them that I smashed. but. Anyway, this whole thing would have just been crawling with beetles, so it wouldn't surprise me. I guess a couple of the other queen cells that I cut out like this could be loaded full of beetle eggs, too. Um, so on that note, if you are going to cut comb like this to uh, cage up queen cells, I'd recommend you don't do it until you absolutely have to. That way you don't have too many days that a beetle could be um, making a mess of things. So anyway, just thought I'd show you that. That's interesting. I'd never actually gotten footage of small high beetle eggs, but now you all can see exactly what they look like it's not as common to find them just on comb like this the beetles are usually drawn to the smell of the pollen and the bee bread so normally you find it in your in your um, pollen stores so it's interesting that this was all laid up around this queen cell there may have been some pollen stores on this you know on this little chunk of comb when I cut it out I don't recall I don't see any bee bread on it now but anyway yeah hopefully y'all learn something from that learn what to look for and um yeah, if you find eggs like this, if you find an accumulation of small high beetle eggs, you better better do something about it. Um, take that frame out, destroy it, or uh, you know, be ready for a beetle outbreak. I guess take it out and throw it in the freezer if nothing else, and, and freeze them and kill them. But anyway, I'll cut it off here. Just thought I'd show it to y'all.